Hey there, Leo. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a zodiac energy reading for you, Leo, for the right now. So whenever you come across this video, that's when you're meant to see it. Let's get you a moon oracle card. A time to give rather than take, Leo. So it's time to give, time to give of your emotion, time to give of your time. Just time to give. Let's see why. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leos are such givers anyway that that kind of surprises me, but let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's get you an animal spirit card. What kind of animal is Leo sitting in? Ooh, your own energy, the lion, Leo. Look at you. You're really sitting in your element. So maybe that's why this card comes out at time to give because you are such a giver anyway. You're giving a lot of your emotion away. So let's see. Let's see what that's all about. But you are sitting in the lion energy. You are in control. You are uh, the leader. Let's see. I just want to see if anything else wants to pop out for Leo. That's it. Nine of air, nine of swords. So you've been sitting into some sorrow. You've been really upset. You've been up at nights. You've been trying to rise above some chaos, some worry, some stress. So, uh, but you are looking at the situation with a really strong eye. You are really bold and courageous and you are really um, sitting in some good energy here. So you're coming out of something here. So let's see, let's get some clarification. But water. Let's see what is on Leo's mind. Ooh, so the Seven of Pentacles wanting to pop out there. Temperance. So you're sitting in Archangel Michael. Energy is here with you, Leo. So you are really sitting into some divine guidance here. Spirit is really guiding you to be courageous, be bold, rise above any negativity, rise above any stress. Queen of Swords, so you've battled. You've been sitting into some battle energy. You've been um, really trying to fight for what's yours, trying to gain some strength here, which you have done here. You're sitting into some really, um, you know what you mean. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. So you're not just speaking now. You're not just, um, you're giving compliments rather than uh, criticisms. And that's beautiful because that's all divinely guided. Let's see, what else is on Leo's mind? Judgment, so you really had to call yourself out. You really took responsibility for where you are in life. You didn't blame everyone around you for where you are. You blamed yourself, so you took credit for your failures, and so now you're taking credit for your successes. And that's beautiful energy because you had to really battle for that. You had to really fight for where you're at right now. So you should be really proud of yourself for having the courage and stamina to fight for what you want and get it. Two of Pentacles, so you're making some kind of decision here. You're deciding to let something go here. And uh, that decision mode is very interesting, sitting under the Nine of Air, so maybe you're deciding to let some grief go, and some sorrow go, and some worry go, and to let life unfold naturally instead of you having that kind of control over it. And uh, maybe you're letting some of that control go. Look at the Nine of Swords underneath the bottom of the deck. There has been some sorrow and some grief here. And so I think that's what you're deciding to let go of now. Maybe you're deciding it's time to move on from that and to, uh, to come into some happier times. So let's see. What's going on in your heart space? What is going on in Leo's heart space? Devil energy wants to pull up here. So it has been toxic. It has been worrisome for you. Ace of Wands comes in under the Queen of Swords too. So some divine inspiration here, but a lot of toxicity around you, a lot of uh, negative thinking, a lot of battling, a lot of uh, had to fight for something really hard here. You really did. And it was a very intense contract you were trying to fight your way out of or fight your way into. So that's very interesting, especially in the heart space there. Let's see what else is going on in the heart of the Leo. Strength. So another major arcana. You've got three major, four major arcana here on the board already. And strength. So there's that Leo again. There's that lion coming out. And you really had to have some strength through this battle. It was almost like a spiritual battle for you. And like you were almost fighting the dark, fighting the shadow work, fighting the uh, imbalance of life here and trying to find that karmic balance, trying to find that karmic justice here. And so that's what that 
uh, deciding is of here is to let go of that darkness, to let go of the shadow work, almost like I'm done with the shadow work. Now it's time to move into the light. It's time to move into my courage and my light here. That's very interesting, Leo. It does feel like a karmic battle here, like a spiritual battle has gone on here. And you've had to have some real balance to get through this. You've had to have some real stamina and some real fight in you. And you really did it. You really fought through it with your mind. You had to really use your mind to take control of this situation because this was a, a spiritual battle, especially with Archangel Michael on your side here. He was fighting along with you. And you had to fight some real demons here in your mind. You had to fight some real demons here in your heart. And um, you had to have the strength to do that. But the good news here is, Leo, that you did it. You did it. You rose above it and you, you won. You won this spiritual battle. So if you're still feeling the tail end of this, then just know that this is coming to an end for you. Of course, you won it with Archangel Michael here having your back. And uh, But it was difficult. It was really hard. You kept getting pulled into the dark, kind of down these rabbit holes that were trying to trap you into the darkness, into the shadows, and keep you there. And um, you had to really, really fight your way out of it. So that took some real light work to do. You know, light work is really not easy to do, and you did it. So that is good on you because you're fighting for the collective here, for the collective to find the light here, to find um, victory over the shadow work, over the darkness here. And that's been real prominent the last couple of years especially. So you were put on this earth to do that. You were put on this earth to fight these demons that um, crept into society and into humanity here. And the Leo, the lion, is the only strong enough um, sign to really have victory over that kind of shadow work like you did. And you did that on behalf of the collective, not just yourself. But boy, that was a real, real battle for you. You had to really, really call out the inhumanity of things and the darkness of things. And in order to do that, you have to look right at it. You have to stare it down and not be afraid of it. And boy, only you can do that as that lion, as that king there. So. Um, good for you, Leo. Thank you for, <laughs> for all of that. That's some heavy, heavy work there. Some heavy spiritual work there. So, wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I really, really am. And uh, you had to really, really find your focus there. You couldn't just focus on all of the darkness. You had to really f pick your battles very carefully because there are some things out there that not everyone can look into the eyes of that not everyone can fight and so here you did you stepped up and you took on that challenge and you took on that battle and you weren't afraid and you did it and you won with, the, it, with a lot of spiritual help with you and a lot of it was done even in your subconscious in your dream state you were entering into these battles that you didn't e weren't even aware of but you'd wake up feeling exhausted and tired and maybe you weren't really sure why well that's why because you were battling you were fighting these um, the darkness you were fighting that on behalf of humanity and um, you did it you were victorious over it but you're just coming out of this now you're just ending this and it's victorious but spirit is thanking you and rewarding you and um, really putting you up on stage here and saying, applauding you and saying, you did it. You, you did it. We knew you could. We knew you could do this. And that's why we put you up to the challenge here because we knew you could do it. And um, just hang on there if you are feeling really exhausted right now because that's going to really um, leave you and you're going to feel really energetic and really balanced and not a whole lot is going to be able to get to you anymore, Leo, because you've had to fight the spiritual fight here. And you've had to balance out this these karmic lessons for the collective and that took a lot of your strength and a lot of your stamina so you just do really need to rest now and really recover from this but you did it you won it's over it's over and you did it no more of these worried sleepless nights no more of these dreams tormenting you and you just fighting 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 you, you did it justice is yours victory is yours and you worked really, really hard with that Eight of Pentacles, but you did it. You did it. That is amazing. Look at this. Look at this, Leo. I don't know if you're seeing this, but you had a real, real test of faith here. You were really, really tested, and you 
just kept going. You, as, as tired as you were, as exhausted as you were, you just kept going and you kept connecting to spirit here for help and tuning in and, and um, challenging. You just kept challenging the dark. You just kept looking right at it and challenging it and fighting it and battling it. And it just had no escape from you it just you you just kept coming after it and fighting it and it and the light won here light workers will always win here but you are a special special light worker here and you um you're very victorious and now you will reap the rewards spirit will absolutely reward you for this and uh victory victory is yours let's see let's see uh Wow, I don't even know what to clarify here. Let's just clarify temperance here and the patience and stamina you've had to have and the help from St. Michael. Archangel Michael, the battler of truth. Yeah, see, you're going to be rewarded now. You're going to be uh, having gifts come to you out of the blue. You're not even going to realize that this is the reward for you for battling these these entities, these this darkness. You're going to be rewarded heavily now, and you're going to be um, and see how protected you are. See the armor on you now. You've you've earned that. You've gained that through those battles, and now uh, you're going to be so heavily rewarded now for your victory here. It is the end of that cycle, so you don't have to battle anymore. The wheel of fortune has turned now, so you are victorious. You have won. You don't have to battle that darkness anymore. Now you can just step into the light, enjoy the light. You have earned the honor of all of the four major arcana. Uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo is in here, of course, and Aquarius. So you have really um, done it. And now the Wheel of Fortune has turned. Now Fortune will come to you out of the blue. You won't even, now maybe if you hear this reading, you'll understand it. But it's just going to come to you. God is rewarding you now. See, it's going to be words of kindness, words of soothing, words of comfort, um, communication. It's going to be openness. It's going to be truth. There's the sword of truth right there. There's your sword that you have earned and deserve and there's the ten of pentacles there's all the rewards just raining upon you now you're going to be rained upon with riches and that's your reward for battling this darkness and uh, you deserve it so no more no more in chains no more uh, uh, not seeing what's ahead for you you're just going to everything's going to become very very clear for you look at the sun there's your card underneath the bottom of the deck here leo this is beautiful you deserve this it's even making me emotional for what you've been through here <coughs> And uh, it's just beautiful. You're just going to have all these rewards just raining upon you now for, uh, for battling this, this harshness, this backstabbing, this. You, you had to battle man and spirit. You had to battle the darkness within man. And that is, um, only you could do this. Only you could do this with the lion strength. And now you are just the king. You are just the victor. You are the... Uh, the only one that could have done this really I, I just keep hearing that you know it just could only be you it could only be you and that's beautiful four of pentacles you're st you're stable now you're solid you don't have to worry about things being stripped from you and taken away from you and the and the uh the battle anymore the darkness just stripping from you to test you over and over and over again now you get to reap the rewards from spirit now they are uh cheering for you they're cheering for you they are calling your name and they are cheering the hermit you've gained the uh, spiritual knowledge that you needed now you've elevated through it you've you've really elevated the collective here as well with your battles and what you've done here what you've accomplished here so that's just beautiful two of wands so now it's up to you it's your choice it's your decision where do you want to go what do you want to do because spirit has your back now now you can do anything you want now the battle is over and the uh, the award goes to you the trophy goes to you <laughs> queen of pentacles so right there you're, you're just going to be so rewarded leo you you deserve it you really fought hard and you didn't give up and so now spirit's not giving up on you now they're just going to keep rewarding you while you're on this in this uh, life path in this body of yours because they know how hard you fought so if you're feeling tired and you're feeling exhausted you just hang in there because all of a sudden out of the blue these riches are going to be coming to you this love is going to be pouring upon you six of swords you're moving on from those troubled waters swords are down now you don't have to battle anymore swords are down you're victorious you are you did it 
you did it those spiritual tests have been passed and those weren't just spiritual tests those were spiritual battles for you and now the world is your oyster now you get to create anything you want to in the light only you're only standing in the light now so there's no more darkness around you you've defeated the darkness so um now you just get to revel in the light and the light will always shine upon you now you won't have to do this battle ever again you won't have to look at that dark like you did again and the dark will just stay away from you now it's it's going to shy away from you now it's not going to come for you now like it did in the past and uh you did it so good for you a battle won victorious you did it leo so congratulations and uh, spirit is really congratulating you and you're going to be rewarded here very heavily so all right, Leo, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you would like a, a join my raffle, all you have to do is subscribe and put in the comment box that you've subscribed. But I'd really like to hear a comment from you, see if this resonates with any of you. If you felt you've been battling that darkness, I'm really, really curious. Yeah, lots of gifts coming to you, lots of gifts of, of words and, um, and money, too, abundance in all kinds, in all forms. So... All right, Leo, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I will check in with you soon. Thank you so much for watching.